Okay, okay, that is good. Please turn off your cell phones. Shh. Ah. Uh. Godzilla or Dinosaurus? No, we're not going to talk about Jurassic Park today. We're going to talk about Godzilla number two, King of Monsters, which is now on screen. And stay with us because I will have a, a, an important question to ask you because there is a, a detail that is in that movie that is really important. We will see it right at the end of the review. Just before starting, I'd like to remind that Godzilla is not the number second that is on screen properly today because the franchise exists ever since 1954. So it's like more than 30 movies that have been done with, uh, with that have been done with Godzilla. And uh, yeah, it's like uh, some of the review today ask for the franchise to stop. Like some people are literally uh, not upset but bored about uh, watching Godzilla on screen. Let's talk about what I like about the movie first. It's, it's obvious, like special effects are really well done. They, they, they created a, a great shallow depth of field. Like uh, as a filmmaker, it's like, it's like really impressing how they, they, they separate the, the background with the, with the foreground and uh, create this shallow depth of field that adds a bit more to, to the action. And, uh, and yeah, they, the, the story itself is not that good. Like it's Godzilla. And as I said, it's not, the, it's not only the second movie, like lots of movies have been done on it. So as, as usual, you have, uh, you have good people and villains. Okay, take care follow what I'm going to say because I'm going to go I'm going to go really fast. Godzilla adds a sub level of these people. It means you have good people among the good people and villains are good among the good people and you have good uh, good monsters among the villains and you have villain monster among the, the villains, okay? So and what happened is that some good people uh, becomes villain become villain because they want to kill the good villains and some of the uh, bad uh, villain people, it's not even clear for me. I can't breathe, I can't breathe. That makes a lot of people. <sighs> and bad people uh, can become good because they want to keep good villains. And so, uh, it's, it's, it's really hard to follow sometimes. So the story is about the, the family of number one. Uh, the name, the name of the guy is Mark, so it's it's a good name. But I, in this kind of movie, I don't know if I would appreciate. It. Anyway, uh, so the, the 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 father of the family is retired because of the loss of uh, his son in number one, and the mother uh, tries to build a, a machine, a tool to be able to control the titans. Okay, and uh, what we called a, an eco terrorist in the movie. Uh, comes in it's you know it's it, the the actor that is the this english actor i don't i don't remember the name his name is charles dance it's so easy to remember after having watched my my phone yes that's him and this actor actually he, he's like a you know when you see him on screen you know he is the villain he doesn't even not he doesn't even need to talk like he's like and you know it's him, it's already the villain. So he plays an eco-terrorist. Really? The guy is an eco-terrorist? He's feeding the titans with electricity and nuclear energy. And he wants to erase the world with that and, and rebalance the world with that. Mm, isn't there is something that shocks you? No? No? Okay. Mm. The name of the, the tool that is built by the mother is the Orca. And, um, so all goes around uh, this, this machine to control the titans. So at some moment of the movie, and this is where I ask you to pay attention to one detail if you go to watch the movie. I, I won't spoil the, the, the story, don't worry. But what I'm saying is that uh, when the mother explains her action uh, regarding the, the, the Orca tool to, uh, to, to control the titans and how she wants to use it, uh, you, you see all the titans being released all over the world, okay? And among the titans, there is one that is particularly interesting. It's a gorilla. So, and, and you see him like uh, one second, not more. And, and you don't see him after uh, all along the movie. However, you see again other titans. It's a kind of introduction for the movie in 2020 
Godzilla versus King Kong. So yeah, it's like a, a little detail that I, that I caught in, uh, when I watched it. So maybe you'll be able to watch it as well and maybe you'll pay attention to it. So now it's time for our podium. Did Godzilla made his entrance on our ranking? The answer is no. Still number three, Aladdin. Number four, John Wick. This doesn't change. Number two is still Avenger. And so number one is still Fighting With My Family, the film produced by Dwayne Johnson. We now have Pokemon Detective Pikachu in number five and Godzilla is in number six. So as usual, what I need to say now is that you may share my opinion about the movie. You may not share my opinion about the movie. So what I suggest is that you make up your own mind and go to watch one of these movies, maybe all of them, even better. And on my side, I tell you, see you next time for the next review. See you, bye-bye. Ah. You can turn on your cell phones. <laughs>